Yo guys, it's Mr. Exploit. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download, install, and execute scripts using the kernel executor. This is a very well-known, free-to-use, key system-based executor, which at the time of recording, it only has support for iOS devices. So if you have an iPhone or iPad and Android devices, so if you have an Android or any kind of computer laptop, which has an emulator on it, and if you don't know what emulators are, I highly suggest you go check out this video on the screen right now. The emulator that I'm going to be using in today's video and the one that I use for all mobile Android executors is LD Player 9. So if you guys want to execute scripts on your PC using a mobile Android based executor, LD Player 9 is one of the best emulators for the job. So go check out that video guide. That's the one I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to start off by launching one of my instances of LD Player emulator and you want to get started by clicking the link in the description below or the pinned comment. This will take you over to the official kernel website. This is where you can download kernel. You can also find their discord server link as well. Click on download. It's going to take you over to this page. And like I said, they only have iOS support and Android support. So don't worry because I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS and Android. We're going to be starting off with Android. So let's click download. It's going to download the APK. There's two different versions. The VNG version is for Vietnamese people. So if you're from Vietnam, that's the one you need to download. If you're from anywhere else, then you might as well go for the top version. So we're going to click the top version, which is normal Roblox, and we're going to wait for this APK file to download. It shouldn't take too long. I have already downloaded it, but I'm just going to download it again for the sake of tutorialness. Okay, so once the APK is downloaded, drag it to wherever you want to drag it. We're going to load up the emulator again, and it's really easy to install APK files. You literally just drag and drop them into the, into the emulator, and it's going to install kernel. It's as simple as that, guys. You now have a modified version of kernel Roblox. Now, I will say, at the time of recording this video kernel for android is not currently updated so if i launch into this right now it's possibly going to instantly close or tell me that it's outdated don't worry you just need to wait for them to update it, you know it's not a big deal it just means it's outdated right now so don't be alarmed you will be able to use it and fortunately it's actually updated for iphone right now so i'm going to switch over to my other device and i'm going to show you guys how to install this on your iphone or ipad okay guys so i've switched over to my main pc i'm about to show you guys how to install kernel onto your ios device you can see i've got my iphone up here right now i'm moving the screen around so i can literally show you guys exactly what to do step by step so before we go onto the iphone there is something we need to do on our pc step one we need to download kernel ios file so it's in the form of an ipa file download the ipa file and we're going to be downloading the latest version, which apparently has been updated today, which is good. So we're going to drag this to the desktop. And the second thing we're going to need is a tool called Sideloadly. So this is completely free to use. You don't have to pay anything to use this. There are certain services you can use that sort of do the same thing as Sideloadly, but without having limitations. So the limitations on Sideloadly, I will explain after I've installed kernel. But you will need this program called Sideloadly. You can get it from this website here and download whichever version is relevant to you. I'm going to download 64-bit and we'll just install it real quick. So there we go. Run, install, wait for Sideloadly to install. And as soon as it's installed, you want to load it up and connect your iPhone to your computer. So I've already connected my iPhone to my computer and we've loaded up Sideloadly. Here we go. So this is Sideloadly and we have the APK file. This is pretty much we're good to go. There's only one thing that's missing and that's actually on the iPhone. If you guys head over to your iPhone and you go to settings, if you scroll down to privacy and security, which is right here, and then you scroll all the way down to here, you should see something at the bottom called developer mode. So developer mode, you will need to enable this and don't worry if you don't see the option appearing underneath security. Not everyone will have the option to enable dev mode and you can actually force your phone to give you the option. And one of the ways to do this is to do what I'm about to do right now. So get side loadly, connect your phone, now what you want to do is you want to get this IPA file, and which is kernel, and you want to drag it straight into here. You want to click on start. Now, if you don't have developer mode enabled, you should get an error. It's completely fine. And what will happen is it should give you the option to enable developer mode after attempting to install an app through Sideloadly. So if you don't have the option for dev mode, you just try to install kernel and it should give you the option, enable dev mode, and then go back and repeat the same process. Now I'm just gonna type in my password. So we've dragged in the kernel, 
We're installing kernel right now. And if I go to my phone screen, you can see nothing's happening yet. Nothing's happening. All right, so here we go. You can see the modified version of Roblox, which is kernel, has just installed on my iPhone device. And now if I go to my iPhone, if you notice, if you try to click kernel, it will say untrusted developer. So the second thing you need to do is you need to head over to settings. And once you're in settings, you want to head over to where it says general. You want to scroll down and where it says VPN and device management, you want to come here. There will be something called a developer app. You want to click on that. And then you want to click on trust. So click trust, click allow. And then we're good to go. We can now load up kernel on iOS and I will log in and I will show you guys that it works completely fine because the Android version is currently outdated. So give me a second to sign in. Okay, so I've signed into kernel. There's no capture. We managed to get in first time and we are on my iPhone 13 Pro. Remember, you do not need a jailbreak to do this. I'm going to load into Grower Garden and I will show you guys exactly how this works. It's really simple to use. So as soon as we spawn into the game, you can see kernels right here at the top. You can drag it around. We can load it up and we need to do the key system. So I'm just going to copy this. I'll do the link with ties. You do have an option between link with ties and loot labs. I always love an option and we're just simply going to go to our browser. We're going to paste this straight in and it's really simple to do the key system all right so that was a very simple key system i now have my key we've copied it to the clipboard we're back into the game oh we got to reload the game so keep that in mind you may have to reload but once you do the key i'm pretty sure it lasts for 24 hours is it automatically pasted it yeah it automatically copy and pasted the key straight in and here is kernel so this is kernel this is how it works uh, i can execute a script for you guys and show you real quick Okay, I'm gonna attempt to execute a script right now. Let's see if we can do this. I just had to copy it from Discord. Let's see if this script will work first time. We've pasted it in, we've pressed execute. Is it gonna load Rift Hub on Grower Garden? I hope it's gonna work. Is it gonna work? Okay, it looks like it's loading. We should be good to go. And yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go, boom. We've loaded up the GUI. We can now auto farm on Grower Garden if we want. Script execution works fine on iOS. It's very interesting to execute scripts on iPhone, especially without needing any jailbreak as well. One thing I will mention is kernel, this version of Roblox will only last for seven days because we're using a free iPhone developer account, an iOS developer account we can only have the modified application installed for seven days and then you will need to reinstall it which is completely fine that might that might be annoying to some people it might be a big inconvenience to most people that should be all right and there are some signing services i know quite a few people watching this may be already aware but there are things called signing services certificate signing services that you can get which are basically services that are similar to sideloadly except you get like a unlimited developer account so you can just have as many applications as you want without having to constantly reinstall them every seven days but to be fair it's not that much of an issue if you're just a casual user like me it should be fine so that's about it for me i will put some of those signing services in the comment section below if you guys want to check them out and if i missed anything please let me know so this is kernel doesn't work on android right now at the time of recording currently outdated but it is updated on ios all the time so go check it out. Let me know what you guys think of Kernel. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.